friends, we're here today in the shipping coolers once again to bring to you Awesome Blossom July special. I don't know about you, but I can't believe we're halfway through the year. It's so exciting. Product, summertime, blooming blossoms. I'm ready to take you for a quick walk down the inventory to show you what the what Mayish coolers look like here in the shipping division. We absolutely love color blocking. We really believe that color blocking is a palette that's really gonna entice people to understand what colors work well with each other. So it really helps our sales reps and also to kind of blend colors and stuff. Here we have an amazing, actually one of my favorites. I don't know if you can tell, I really like dark colors. Um, this is an oriental lily here by the name of Mambo. And as this lily opens, it really turns into an absolutely true purple color. And purple in a lily is very difficult to find. So it works well with burgundies and purples. Good, good, sturdy, nice lily. We also have here different lilies that you can see. Just really good quality. Nice, big, fat, juicy blooms. And you can see these are cut a little bit tighter. And that's really just to ensure that the shipping process moves smooth without any concerns. Dahlias, now here comes the fun story for summer dahlias. Everybody gets so excited for that cheerful flower. But you know, dahlias, they're a little bit sensitive in the way that uh, growers grow them. We really have to be concerned about not selling so specific in a color um, or a variety. You really want to sell more color. There's ball dahlias. You've got the regular more field dahlias. And then, of course, here you have the dinner plate dahlias. And these guys, I mean, you can see how huge these are. Um, talk about taking up space. I mean, these are just fantastic. And, um, you know, so when you're selling your dahlias, I would try to sell your customers and say, you know what, let's sell shades of orange versus really selling just one tangerine color. Throw in some other shades and look at how nice that turns out, even going into peaches. And that helps transition color as well. Scabiosa annual burgundy. This is just um, a lovely flower. It's also coming in raspberry right now, so you're getting it in shades of pinks, lavenders, and of course this deep rich burgundy. And as you can see, if uh, you get a little closer here, there's a lot of character to this flower. I know it seems like it's so small, but you're going to get some really neat boutonniere accents and things like that. Eryngium is another flower we featured in last month's feature. This one's a little bit different. I love this because it's just, you know, it's got a lot of pops and, and it's got a lot of character to it. So this is really, I think, in my opinion, really cheerful versus the big, big Eryngium we featured last month. So just know that we have all different varieties available for you and your clients. Of course, this is the purple Trachelium coming also in white, lavender, or the dark purple. Now this kind of, this when I first started the flower business cracks me up. Uh, somebody ordered this one time by calling it the dreadlock flower. I think that's so cool. It just really does look like dreadlocks. Um, this is your amaranthus, but we just wanted to show you mayish quality amaranthus. I've seen it come really skinny and small and now we're really just focusing on the fatter, chunkier stuff. Gerondo Gerber daisies. These are really cool. These are nice to use as a accent to zinnias. Zinnias, we don't really do a whole lot of shipping, so you really want to pick that up at your local branch with Mayish's uh, 17 different locations. But this is fun because these are a Gerondo Gerber that have petals all the way through the center. Delphinium, I don't know if you guys can see. So this is cheating just a little bit. It's on a platform, so you've got about an additional foot on here. But look at how tall this delphinium. This is locally grown here by our lovely grower that does a lot of our um, ranunculus hybrids and anemones. He just really does a good job in his breeding and uh, care to his product. Of course, alium giant in season and fun. Just a nice big spiky ball. Ageratum, good stuff here. I mean, it's just the fuzzy texture, I think, and the uniqueness of this flower that really bring a lot of character to it. Moving on into the next palette that we have in color blocking in our coolers. Of course, our local Aramaris we featured last month as well. Just really good. You can see the quality sticking around. It's um, just really fun to have for your tall arrangements. Now keep in mind when shipping Aramaris, if you're going to be using it tall, you have to remember to charge a little bit more because you're going to have additional freight costs on that tall product. So remember to ask your sales associate. If you don't need height, tell us to whack it down and we'll save you some money. Brand new into season, fruiting fig. This is, um, you know, for your unique customers that are looking for a little bit different, if you can imagine that, just in a vase in the kitchen, that'd be pretty wacky. Brazilian mini, you've got your bunny tail grass. Bunny tail grass has got just like that really, f you know, furry, furry look to it. It's fun for that real vintage uh, look. 
You've got your um, artichokes. And let's not skip the beauties. Those are the cafe au lait dahlias. Guys, I do want to tell you a little bit about the cafe au lait dahlias. In sales, as a, as a color specialist, you have to understand that cafe au lait dahlias from one bunch to the very next is going to vary. So you have to expect that. Um, these were all cut on the same day from the same farm. But as you can see, some are peachy, some are a little bit pinkier, and some do fall a little bit towards lavender. So please sell them that way and just expect it when you're receiving your product that way, that it's very difficult for us to only keep it in one particular peach. Agapanthus, we've got our chocolate scented geranium. This here is a really new, fun geranium. This is cinnamon. And as you can see, we have all those different colors of burgundies in there along with the corals that are so popular. We're now into our local hydrangea season. So you can get your fresh cut, local cut hydrangea here at Mayesh. And you can um, also reap the benefits of a lower cost because we're not importing it from all over the world. We're doing it here in California. Gerondo Gerber's and Peach Coral Palette, again, those are really fun. Your Garden Roses, Garden Rose Spray, Garden Rose with the, um, you know, the single larger head. And then, of course, these are just really fun. So you can always ask your sales associates to just do you a m nice mix. And this was something that you'd end up in your box if you just asked for a garden rose mix. Little textures here that are imported um, from South Africa, just little fun things. They come in about once a week. So we just uh, sell them more as a miscellaneous than so much more as a specific because it's little cute accents. Dusty Miller, beautiful kale. And of course, our locally grown Lysianthus that is just really holding on. The quality is holding on, and we're really sticking strong with this product. Now, I'll take you over to a couple of finished racks where you can see where the professional salespeople here at Mayish Wholesale put it all together. We're here now at our finished racks, and this is what you guys see at a local level when you walk into your coolers and all your racks are pulled. Shipping customers, they don't get to see that so much, so this one's for you guys. This is a shout out to our sales rep, Kelly Gerard. She does an amazing job. This is one of her fun, loyal customers that trust her. They say, Kelly, give me $2,000 worth of flowers for shop flowers and I want it nice. This is what Kelly does for us. Here, this is a shout out for Miss Laura London. This is Laura London. This is what she does with her customers and really just incorporating a lot of the products that you just seen together and more of a wholesale atmosphere. This is when it all comes together on racks. And God, this is, what, this is what makes me love the flower business, when it just jumps out and gets you like that. And this here is a shout out to our Sarah Gerard here in the sales division as well. This girl knows color. And I don't know if you can tell about the way these flowers are popping, viewing it through live webcam, but wow, in person, these burgundies are just screaming at you. She's got all the kangaroo paw, the dahlias, the tiger tail macara orchids that have those speckles of burgundies to pick that all up. We just really appreciate what everybody does here at Mayish, and we hope you do too. Thank you for your time on July's Awesome Blossom video shoot. I'm Charity Weinshank, and we'll see you next month.